In our last video we were talking about our uh, thread thinner cars and showing you where the light was on so you could see what they look like uh, and we did mention too that we were going to move them so we have moved them now and uh, we're going to talk through the method that we use to transfer our fish into their new home so basically the thread thinner cars have gone out come out from a three foot tank into their new four foot tank ready for breeding so stay with us and we're going to go through and show you exactly what they look like in their new tank and how happy they are welcome back to bluefin aquatics where we share our experience and knowledge with you Okay, so what we're going to talk about today is um, we were talking about last week that we're going to be moving our thread thinner caras from their three foot tank to their four foot tank. Uh, now this has been done and we're just going to talk through the method that we use to transfer our fish around from different tanks at any stage. So what we basically did was that um, we've got a nine litre bucket, uh, two of them because it's actually eight of the thread thinner caras there. We've actually filled those buckets uh, about halfway full of the existing water that they came out of and then we basically added the fish into that water. Now what we did from there onwards is that to acclimatise them to their new water and just into the new tanks, uh, the waters are very very similar here but we still like to acclimatise our fish and acclimate them nicely so it lessens the stress on the fish. So what we basically did then, we took that nine litre bucket with the thread thinner cars in there, there's four in this bucket at stage, and we walked it over to the grow out area and breeding area. So what we did then was we grabbed also some water from the new tank they're going in. So we're basically adding in uh, say 500 mils of water every 20 minutes or so just to acclimatize them to the water that they're going into. So this is what we've done and then basically after about 30 minutes or so, uh, once you've acclimated them for about 20 minutes in the new uh, water in the bucket, just add a little bit small water in there to get them accustomed to it. And then once that's done, what you can do then is uh, get your th uh, thread thinner cars, take them out of that bucket and you can put them pretty much into the new tank that they're uh, accustomed to now because you've acclimated them and acclimatised them to the water so they're a little more happier. And the other side uh, of this is that they don't stress as much uh, because they know the water going into it rather than just shocking them and putting them into water that hasn't been treated or water has not been aged, those sorts of things. But as we said in the past, we do use a lot of uh, rainwater here for our tanks. Um, but also to, to uh, use the chlorinators as well to put in the water just in case. But that's generally the method that we use to transfer all our fish, especially when we have younger fish uh, like you've seen our, our green horse uh, geovagus and also now we've got the red horse face geovagus here as well and also the altifrons. Um, as they start to grow too and they start to outgrow their tanks, they'll go on that same method in growing um, taking about the three foots going straight into four foot tanks or even larger tanks to get them ready for breeding. So these are the methods we use. We just commentize them with using uh, a nine litre bucket, putting the four fish depending on size, uh, filling it halfway up with the existing water that they came out of and then taking them over to the new tank that they're going into to be rehomed and then you're using 500 mils of water out of the new tank into their bucket basically until you fill it anyway so they're more accustomed to what water they're going into so we basically do it that way put them in the uh, take them out put them into the tank and they can acclimatise to the water very, very well rather than throwing them straight in there to, and shocking them. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take you out to the grower area and our breeding area and show you exactly what they actually look like now once they've been uh, rehomed. All right, so come on this journey and we'll take you into the, the grow out area. So here we are in our grow out area. You can see the uh, thread thinner cars in their new tank. So they do seem to be doing quite well. Um, as I said, they've only been in there for less than 24 hours, but they are getting around in the tank and they've noticeably noticed that the tank is a lot bigger for them. So they seem to be enjoying themselves. They are eating already, which is good news. Um, so they seem to be quite settled. So we'll give them at least about another week or two and then they'll be feeling like they're at home altogether um, and nothing has really changed for them. But what we're going to do, we're going to give you a bit of a bonus view. We're going to show you our Rio Broncos and also our orange hump uh, tapajos in another tank. So we'll just move over to that area. 
So here we are looking at our Rio Broncos and also our Orange Hump Tougher Joes in here. Uh, they have been showing signs of uh, laying, which they have uh, laid some eggs, both parties have, um, but unfortunately being the water a bit warm, the eggs are basically cooking when they go to lay them. But what's going to be happening from today as uh, what we're going to be doing is the Rio Bronco are going to stay in this two by two by four foot tank and the orange uh, orange hump uh, tapa joes, they're going to be moving into another tank um, of their own too. So basically keeping the species separated. So this is what we're going to be doing uh, today. And we're going to go through the same method as what we did before with the uh, thread finicaras with the nine litre buckets, uh, especially for these will be for the orange hump tapa joes. We're going to be moving those and there's seven of those. So that's what we're going to be moving. So from there, uh, if you enjoyed the uh, video, please uh, like and if you wish to uh, subscribe, please do or leave a comment. We're happy to answer any comments or questions that you do have. Um, apart from that, uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now.